Uncle Rex Bear. You asked the question, now here comes the answer. Hey everyone, this is Kevo, and welcome to another video for Right Side Up, the truth review channel for you. On March 4th, 2017, The Leak Project published a video that featured a Planet X hunter by the name of Danny Garcia. The video is titled, If This Isn't Planet X or a Brown Dwarf Star, What Is It? Well, if you haven't guessed by now, let me tell you that I am here to answer that question. First, let me say that somewhere around the 10th of April 2017, give or take a day or two, Rex from The Leak Project reached out to me in a comment on one of my videos, inviting me to come onto his show and share my knowledge. For some reason, despite repeated efforts on my behalf to make this happen, Rex is yet to respond with further details. I'll touch on that a bit later in this video. If that had have gone ahead, then part of the discussion would have been around the footage that was put forth in this video by The Leak Project. So, as I said, I will answer the question, what is it? And I will show you how to find the clues and evidence in a way that you can easily replicate with some free software programs. Now, when I tell you what it is, even if that does not fit in with your belief of the whole matter, all I ask is that you watch this video through to the end, hear what I have to say, go and make some observations of your own, and then come back and share them with me. So, here we go. The image that is being claimed to be a planet is a ghost image of the sun, appearing on one of the layers within the lens system, including any filters or covers. Now, let's get into the clues that you can find if you take the time. The video kicks off with a clip that was taken by Danny Garcia showing the object near the sun, and as stated, it is around the 9 o'clock position. The clip shows footage from the front yard and then from the backyard, and Danny Garcia commentates this and conveys the message of moving from the front to the back. Um, so right here I ran in my backyard to get a different perspective and to maybe uh, get away from some of the reflective items on the road. When we take a look at a shot from the front and a shot from the back, we can determine by the angles associated with the houses that the camera is fairly level in both shots. When the shots are matched up though, you see that the alleged planet has changed its position. Surely the short distance from the front yard to the backyard has not made this difference. Perhaps there is a slight difference in the levelness of the camera between the two shots. Well, even if there was, let's see how much of a difference that it would have to be. By rotating one of the shots and matching up the sun and the image, we see that it is somewhere in the order of 15 degrees difference. Once you accept the truth that this change in position is not possible for an object positioned as claimed, you are able to proceed. So, why has it moved? First thing to consider is the equipment used. The reason that it has changed positions is because between filming in the front and moving to the back, Danny Garcia has unknowingly or otherwise moved the filter that he has over the lens. Simple sun filter from my, my big camera I put that over my iPhone 6 Plus. When the angle of the surface of the filter changes in relation to the lens of the camera, then the position of the ghost image will change accordingly. Go and check out this video for an in-depth demonstration of this. In this next piece, Danny claims that this is the planet yet again, and he demonstrates that it stays stationary as his lens flare is moving around. Whilst doing this, he pans all the way to the left. Take note of the object. Now he pans over to the right. Did you see the difference? Let's have a look at the two shots and you will see that the object appears to have moved in relation to the sun over a short pan. What is happening here is that because of the change in the position and angle of the light source entering the camera, the refraction and reflection amount of the light is varied. However, as this image is on another layer, it responds to the effects of that layer and in this case, due to being only a small degree of refraction, and because it is on a lower layer level, it is close enough to the sun so as to be able to gauge the movement. The next bit of footage shows, amongst the other ghost images, the alleged planet. This one is a bit harder for the novice, but once you know what to look for, you will be surprised at what you see. In the video by The Leak Project, there are two sections that feature footage from this location, and they are at a slightly different time to each other. I will use both clips to demonstrate how to see the truth. As you look at this footage, it appears as there is a second sun in the sky, 
and at this point you notice that it is partially obscured by something. We don't see anything in front of the sun, so this can't be the sun, right? Well, the first thing to understand here is that the sun would be approximately this size in this image. This is the glare, and for our eyes, the glare will overpower and white out objects. But through the refraction and reflection process within the lens system, the glare is not generally picked up in the ghost image, as the lens system focuses in on the body of the sun. To see what is behind that glare, we need the sun to be higher in the sky. And just by chance, Danny Garcia has provided this for us. The footage from earlier in the video shows a good view of the hidden landscape. So now for a bit of editing. By taking this area of the footage, removing the background and darkening the landscape so your eye can find direction, and then overlaying it into this footage when the sun is behind the horizon, you will see that the obstruction on this image is the same shape as the hidden landscape. For good measure, I will bring the landscape up to the alleged planet, and as I fade in and out with the landscape, you see that it is a match. Rex also questioned Danny as to the extra images in the sky being in a straight line. Well, there is an aspect to the angle of images to keep an eye out for. When we gauge the angles and distances, we see that the reflection in the water is also ghosted and it is on the same angle and distance away from its light source. In some clips, you will get multiple layers of the ghost image become visible and you will notice patterns including angles. In the comment that Rex from the Leak Project left, he asked if I would consider coming on his show and sharing my knowledge with his audience. He also said that this video was great. I don't know about you, but I sense a little deja vu here. Rex, I am still trying to ascertain whether or not you are seriously looking for the truth. Rex Bear, Leak Project, what you are looking at is the best video footage I have seen yet of what could be a brown dwarf binary star that's orbiting our sun, planet X, Nibiru, whatever name you want to put to it, Nemesis. Or if you are only interested in the sensationalistic side of these stories. I don't know if there's a planetary system heading our way or not, but what I do know is that the imagery being put forth to be these rogue planets is simply not what it is claimed to be. Whether a deliberate deception or not, the fact remains that the videos that I have critiqued are, as I undeniably prove, ghost images of the sun. These misrepresentations have affected people in bad ways, and as some of the comments on my videos show, that the revelation of truth through watching my videos has helped people in a positive way. Rex, I have a favour to ask of you. I put out a challenge in this earlier video for someone to provide footage using the criteria that I developed in the video that we would have discussed on your show. So, in the pursuit of truth and in the honour of impartialism, I ask if you would promote this challenge on your channel. We need people to publish their results or send them in, regardless of what they do or don't find. Obviously, if you find a planet, send it in. But likewise, if all you find is lens flares and ghost images, then send that in as well. Perhaps Rex and I will get together down the track a bit, but in the meantime, if you would like to help spread the real truth, simply make sure to give this video the thumbs up and share it everywhere. Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button for more truths, make sure to click on the bell to set notifications, and definitely check out my other videos to get up to speed. If you have other related material that you would like to share, you can send it to rightsideupcontributions at gmail.com. I thank you for your time, and I hope you found this video helpful in your search for the truth. Come and investigate with me, and together, let's get everyone right side up.